Yeah, it's Mirko, dude. <laughs> All right. All right, yeah, Mirko. What are your predictions, man? For both, or if you really have no idea, like me, because like I think Onik Indo is gonna go to M4, but the three other slots, Indo, and then two from PH. I have no idea, man. I have absolutely no idea. I have no idea. I feel like it's just so hard to predict in this in this uh, state of the game. I'll do a prediction video soon on my channel. I see this. I see the self-promotion, my dude. <laughs> but I can't say I won't watch it. I probably will. I'm better go over now and fucking turn on notifications because I actually want to know your thoughts on that one. I will accept. Subscribe, notifications on, dude. I probably haven't done that in like a year and a half. One rep from MPLPH is Echo, from PLID is on. Yeah, I think Onik is almost 100% guaranteed going to M4. And then, I mean, the, the second place is kind of hard, man. Second place for Indo would be a pretty big challenge. In <laughs> Valley. Oh yeah, of course. Still stuff to work on. Uh, I'm really trying to force spell timers. Like, uh, always trying to recognize them. When's that video huh? coming out, though, Marco? Because I'm actually interested. Probably next. Fuck. Next week, dude. Next week, dude. Why don't you do a prediction? Fuck. Because it's so hard, man. Like, PH is insane. There's so many good contenders that deserve to go. I literally forgot about Blacklist. <laughs> That's how many good teams are there. I listed off like four names earlier. I forgot to say Blacklist. Holy f***, dude. I mean, Onik Indo is almost like 100% M4, right? And then RQ is second place in the regular season, but that's... I can't guess it, Mirko. I can't. I mean... Who else would it be, though, besides RQ? No, I'm gonna say RQ, I think. I'm gonna say RQ. I'm just gonna... Th I I'm just... I think Onik on Indo and, uh... RQ. Because RQ is on a good little... Uh, what do you say? They have good momentum right now. They were doing horrible, but I'm a BTR fan, but by sides are contenders. I think that's how we'll, we'll have to agree to disagree. I think RQ's momentum is really strong right now, no? Because they were doing so bad at the beginning of the season. Like, maybe, say, the half season, and they just stepped up. Like, it was basically the opposite of Evos for them. So, alright, my predictions. If I actually had to bet money, which I'm not. Um... I don't know, man. Plus, Mirko, there's so many, like... I feel like some teams might just randomly go crazy in the playoffs. Just like how... How uh, Omega does, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm starting to lose faith in Aura. You know, actually... I really... I was, like, slightly rooting for him, but now I think they might just... Yeah. 
All right, so my, my prediction for Indo, Onic, RQ, TH is quite tricky. I don't even know the actual uh, standings right now after it's all done. Black and Echo are even. I can't even, I'm not even putting a prediction on that. I genuinely cannot. Black Omega RSG, two of those 100%, no, no Echo. I literally can't give you any good guess about on it about uh, pH, but I'd say I'd say the two usual for Indo.